about uh, your experience so far? How did the meetings go? Uh, the meeting has been very good and it has been very, very informative. We've been able to meet people at the Capitol Hill and we've been able to meet the State Department and it was very, very informative. You get to know what they think about Africa and also get to know where they, they want us to go. Yeah. Did it, uh, to some degree, meet your expectations? Yes, to me, I think it's really a very good experience for me to come here, to be able to hear their views, and also to reflect on what we are actually doing in Africa. Were there any surprises that you'd like to share with us? Not really. I didn't see much surprises, but you get to know where do they think Africa at least they have some, some kind of uh, direction they want Africa to go. However, maybe something which really interested me a lot is the meeting we first had with the co at the Capitol Hill. Uh, when this, uh, it's called Grand George, Simpkins. yeah. When he was asking us, what are you doing and whatever. And I was interested in the fact that they want to move beyond Agoa mm -hmm. and try to address issues in the agricultural sector, mm -hmm. which I think is really a good, a good thing. Did you, did you get the sense that uh, they already know exactly what they think Africa is, or do they in fact want to know more about Africa from people like you? Actually, it's both. They know something, but they are willing to learn more about, about Africa. And they want to get the African perspective from the locals, not from people from here. That's something which was really good to me to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about uh, the center that uh, you run in Kampala? Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about it? Who funds it, for example? OK. The Economic Policy Center has been around since 1993. Mm -hmm. And it was founded by the government of Uganda and Makerere University. Uh, we do receive our funding partly from Makerere, from government of Uganda, and also from the Africa Capacity Building Foundation, which is based in Halari. We do get also funding from the Think Tank Initiative and uh, the International Development Research Center based in Canada. So However, much as we are getting money from government of Uganda, we are really an independent institution and we are autonomous. You're autonomous? Yes. Are you sincerely autonomous beyond the words autonomy? Yes, we are, yes. At least that, that's something we are, we are still enjoying as EPRC. Let me come back to you, Dr. Sewanyana. You mentioned a little bit earlier before we went for the break that uh, yes, you do receive funding from the Ugandan government, but you are autonomous. Yes, we are. What exactly do you mean by that, really? Talk to us from the deepest, better part of the bottom of your Ugandan heart and soul. Yes, thank you. We are autonomous and independent. We do our research without any influence of government. And uh, in order to demonstrate that we do sensitive research, which we don't shy away, from sharing with our government. And I think if you ask any Ugandan, they will tell you that we are really an independent institution. And that's why you see most of the government ministers and departments, even the development partners, come to collaborate with us on research because they do know that we are really an independent and autonomous research. How do you remain objective, someone might ask, mm. when you in fact receive funding from the same government? Yes, we, we are, yes, we are autonomous, we are independent, and we are objective in the way we carry out our research. To what extent uh, does the government listen to you? It does a lot. We've done a lot of work where there is really very sensitive and you fear to go there. For talk example. A, talk about it. For example. Like we did some work on the public expenditure tracking on agriculture. And you could see that money was not reaching there. It was really very hard to, to think through how, do we, how are we going to read, uh, tell the government that you see things are not working well. But we managed to do it. Mm -hmm. And the way they received it was really well received. And at least I know some officers also lost out on their jobs. Are there situations where the government or some members of the government have not listened to you? Uh, 
I can't say yes and I cannot say no. Mm -hmm. Because at times you can talk, they may not take your points immediately, but later on you could see some of your works being reflected in some of the government documents. Obviously, your situation requires a lot of patience. Yeah. Um, it requires a lot of uh, perseverance, mm. a lot of perhaps creativity, innovativeness, uh, and a lot of dexterity perhaps. Mm. What are some of the ways in which, for example, you can make the government to actually listen to you mm. if you are running into problems? Yeah, what we normally do as we do our research at the very, very initial stages, mm -hmm. we try to make sure that we do some kind of national consultations and we discuss these issues early enough for us to be able to get a buy-in. So you move with government as you, you continue with your work. So that at the end of the day, when you are done with your research, definitely they will be able to, to take up your ideas. And when you talk about uh, national consultation, mm. who do you specifically consult? Who are we talking about here? It depends exactly on what you are working on. If I'm doing some work on agriculture, definitely I'll try to look at the stakeholders in the agricultural sector and I will try to move with them. If it is really with the Ministry of Finance, still I will try to identify the key people in the Ministry of Finance and try to move along with them. At least so far so good, our working relationship with government has been good, mm -hmm. and also our working relationship with the development partners, it has been very good. Is there any particular um, example that uh, you can point your fingers on and say, you know Shaka, this for example is the best result that we have yet gotten since I came on board? Um, hmm. In terms of what? In terms of your influence, policy influence? Like, uh, what we normally do, like the poverty numbers uh, which you hear about, mm -hmm. most of those poverty numbers are, are done at the Economic Policy Research Center. How genuine uh, are those numbers? They are very genuine, I can tell you. That one I can assure you. There are a lot of people, frankly, who feel that yeah. their results or reflections of what they would characterize as creative accounting. No, 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 no. That's not correct. Look at 